Family, make some more noise. Introducing one of the most fiery politicians who I've ever heard. From constituency number four, where I was told they stole the election down there once, they stole it twice, but not this time. Lindsey Grant will be in Parliament. So number four, make some noise for your representative. We are the, we are a chosen Supporters, well wishers of the People's Action Movement, good afternoon. I can hear you. Family, make some noise in the house. I bring you greetings from constituency number four. And to let you know that the good men and the good women in constituency number four have asked me to tell you that constituency number four, be ready. We are ready in constituency number four to bring home to that, that seat to the People's Action Movement. I said to you this afternoon that this is an historic convention. The historians will have to tell me that I've gotten it wrong. But I believe it is the first occasion at any convention where we have had the privilege to have at our convention as a guest speaker, a high-ranking official speaking at our convention in no less a person as the Deputy Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley. And it goes even more historic again that I see before me this afternoon the presence of two stalwarts of the Labour Party in our presence. The Honourable Sam Condo and Dr. The Honourable Timothy Harris, the leader of Team Unity. We are in a new dispensation we are charting a new course in this country. We are charting a new direction that will endure to the benefit of future generations of this country. We are on the right side of history. And those of you hearing me who are still undecided, I want to tell you this afternoon that do not stand on the sidelines of history. Get on board because history is in the making for the Federation. I want you to be in the forefront of the vanguard of change in this country because very shortly a change is going to come in this country. If there was ever a time for change, it is now. If there was ever a time for change, it is now. I spoke to someone today, just today, who is not a person in the political forefront or supports party politics like some of us, but he asked me to say something this afternoon to this convention. He said that I should tell you this afternoon that the Federation is at a critical stage. This is our last opportunity to make it right. This is our last opportunity to set it right for the people of the Federation. If we do not change the government now, we would have lost a golden opportunity forever and that future generations would not forgive us for it. For too long we have been divided. For too long our families have been split down the middle on party lines. For too long neighbor against neighbor, because of political affiliation. For too long, contracts awarded because of support given to political parties. 
It was just yesterday I was in Challengers delivering a bouquet of flowers to an elderly lady, a supporter of the Labour Party, elderly. And as the representative of the next one for that constituency, I went to deliver a bouquet of flowers. I got into the house, said my greetings, and at that time there were two other persons in the house. So when I gave the elderly lady her greetings and a kiss, I went over to the lady who was sitting down to greet her also to say good afternoon to her. I stretched out my hand for her to shake it and my hand stood unstretched for about a minute without a response from her. I took back my hand and put it in my pocket. But I said this to you this afternoon that politics shouldn't operate like that in this federation. What is a handshake? And the thing about it, the thing about it, that woman, and I'm not calling any name, former teacher, you know her, well respected in the community, big church goer, Catholic to boot, you understand? But this is how Denzel Douglas has divided this federation and the country. And we are saying unity is here to put a stop to that. <laughs> Denzel Douglas' motto and his mentality is one of this unity. Divide and conquer. No longer must we allow that. No longer must we tolerate that in this federation. Today we come on to the theme... The urgency of now. Country above self. One of the greatest orators of our time, Dr. Martin Luther King, in his historic speech on the March of Washington, he said, we are now faced with the fact that tomorrow is today. We are confronted with the fierce urgency of now in this unfolding conundrum of life and history, there is such a thing as being too late. There is no time for apathy or complacency. This is a time for vigorous and positive action. Today in St. Kitts and Nevis, these words have been renewed meaning because when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke at the March on Washington, he described as a fierce urgency of now. A fierce urgency of now. He reminded a divided nation that we need one another. And that's what unity is saying. And that we are stronger when we march forward together. That's what unity is saying. We cannot walk alone. That's what we are saying. And as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall march ahead. We cannot turn back. That is what we are saying. And so this afternoon, so this afternoon, for the parents and the teachers and the students at the Basti High School who have suffered under the hands of the Minister of Education and the Minister of Health, there is the urgency of now. And for every man, woman, and child in this country who are ready and waiting and fed up with the high cost of living. There is an urgency of now because we have said to you that gone on the unity government free on, on food and on medicines. There is the urgency of now. For every man, woman, or child unable to pay the mounting electricity bills, there is the urgency of now because we have said to you that we are going to provide for those persons that we have said to you on numerous occasions. That we are going to make sure that we bring down the cost of electricity because it is too high. For every man or woman who are without running water, we have said to you that this is unacceptable in 2014. To have households without the necessary running water. And that we will ensure during our first five years that no household is left behind. All should have the basic necessity of running water, the urgency of now. And for all of those living under the poverty line, because there are one in three of us who fit this category, 
not even able to afford the basic necessity of food, clothing, and shelter, there is the urgency of now. Because we have said to you, we, are going to pro we have provided you with more than one reason why and how we are going to improve your current standing and ensure that not only do we put more money back in your pocket, but we move you up from the poverty line, the urgency of now. For those of you who are living paycheck to paycheck, there is the urgency of now. For those of you who cannot afford the affordable homes, the urgency of now is now. For those of you, for those of you who have gone abroad for tertiary education, who have returned to find that you have degrees, but you too are living from paycheck to paycheck because when you have finished paying development bank or some financial institution, you can't afford to live decently. The urgency of now, team unity to the rescue. We have outlined a program for you which will significantly reduce your student loans. To those of you who have been suffering the injustices of an unjust system, we said to you, the urgency of now. We have outlined to you numerous plans to ensure that never again will this country be governed again in a manner that it is being managed presently. Never again will you have a motion of no confidence outstanding for 16 months and a prime minister, illegitimate as he is, allowed to govern with impunity, the urgency of now. I said to you this afternoon, the time for division of our people and our federation has long passed. The time for unity is when? The time for unity is when? The time for unity is when? It is now. So talk to your families, your friends, your neighbors. Be a champion and step up and step forward. Our cause is your cause.